Div Hunt styling works using three unique things, global classes, classes, and tags. So global classes are what is applied to every single instance of, for example, an H2, paragraph, H1 across the entire site. Then we have classes, which are individual rules that can be applied to any element and will give that element those specific properties. And finally, we have tags, which tags are only applied to that individual element that they are set on and they override everything else. We'll get more into the hierarchy of how it works in just a minute. But first things first, let's take a look at global classes. So let's say we have our H2 over here and we just really want to make that H2 a very, very hideous red. But not only that one, every single H2 on the entire site. We'd go to our selector over here, click it, select H2, and then we'd go down to our color and again, make it a nice bright, hideous red. So now that we've done that, if we zoom out, as we can see, all H2s on the entire site have now become a nice bright hideous red. And let's say we don't want all of them to be ugly, we just want most of them to be ugly. What we would do in that case is go ahead and create an actual class rule. So if I go over here, for example, then go to my selector and create a new class called black, then I can go and change that color to black, for example, and as we can see that updated. And maybe I don't want this one to be ugly, or maybe I want it to be every second one is ugly. I would then go to this one over here, apply black to it, and that is going to update all of the instances that have black. And the reason that's good is because then we can edit this black class and we can change it. For example, let's make it a darker black and that will affect all of the elements that have black applied. Now, one thing I want to mention is that these classes are not combo classes. This is not saying, oh, all H2s with black applied are going to look like this. It is all elements that have black applied will inherit the rules of black. So let's say, for example, we grab an element that is most definitely not an H2, like this span right here in this button, and apply the class black to it. It is going to inherit all of the styles that were set up in black right away, and it will share those across. So these classes are lists of rules which can be applied to any element that they are applied to. Then finally, we have tags. And the way that tags work, it's like a class that is unique to that element. It's any styles that you want to apply in one place, you do not want to reuse them. For example, spacing. Let's say I think this individual instance has not enough spacing. And I want to change that, but I don't want to go ahead and create new rules for it because I only need to edit it here. What I'm going to do is click that element and select the tag. And then I can adjust my margin as needed. Let's say 40 pixels, for example. It's gonna affect here. It is not going to affect anywhere else. So with that being said, the last thing to keep in mind is the hierarchy because certain things override others and it's super important to know what that is. So on a scale from weakest to strongest, we have global classes, classes, and then tags. So let's say for example, with our H1 over here, we have nothing applied to it. It is just inheriting all of the global styles. And let's take a look at that. Let's go ahead and make our H1, that nice hideous red that we talked about earlier. And since there are no colors applied to it, it is going to inherit that. It is going to look like that. But then if we go ahead and apply a class to it, let's just call it blue, for example. Then if I make this blue, it is going to become blue. It is going to override whatever was set globally. Then if I go ahead and make the tag itself styled to be green, then it is going to, that is a horrible green, it is going to become green. And then we can see that if I go back to the global H1 and for example, change this from red to burgundy, rust color, and save that, it is not going to update because this has green applied to the tag. And if I go ahead and reset this color right here, right now, it is then going to take it from the class. Then if I go back to the class and reset the color on that, it is going to take it from the global. So that is how styling works in Div Hunt. Simple, but it is a system that you will need to keep in mind.